one two there, Brett. You got me. Yeah, we got to start up the mains, and we got to do some work here. We got to get the cage out of the water. We're sliding. Just head right on up the starboard side. We'll have the crane ready for you right here. Okay, good luck, go get her. I'm gonna try to uh, drop the hook then back up where we were, and we'll see you whenever you guys choose to come back. If you're getting freezing cold, man, <laughs> come back. Don't get sick, we got a few more days of uh, fishing here, and we gotta pull on some big sharks. We're gonna do whatever it takes. Yeah, Roger, okay. We'll see you when you get back. Okay. These things happen on the ship, you see a lot of people come out on the ship and everyone has a, a different amount of experience. Yeah, so just pull it up and leave the anchor hanging so we can redrop it when I get back up on the spot. I can't get this thing to come around, man. The wind is crazy. And what you don't want that allow you to do is allow you to make a bad decision. Right, because these are tempting you to move in a direction that we weren't really planning on doing, isn't really what we're set up to do for, but we're getting kind of desperate because that's not working, so maybe we should do this. And then you do that and something really bad happens. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> he was just swimming back there after he ate the bait, still looking for something to eat, huh? Uh -huh. Uh, that's him, he's coming back. He's coming in on it. Taking a look. No. You'll see a huge evolution um, over the course of these first few sharks in our bait rigging. Quickly, we began to realize that they're very finicky. There it is, right behind it. Yep, right there. Right on it. If they're sensing a lot of metal in the water, a lot of metal around the bait, it's very hard to get them to bite unless you just try to cover it up with more and more bait. Oh, here he goes. He's got it. He's got it. Over the top. Uh oh. Oh, sh. How the f did that happen? Which way does he go? He's going down. He's going down. He's got it. He's going the other way. Take, take the gear over. Take the gear over. He's going straight down. Over my head. Over my head. He's just spinning around in circles back here. He's using the boat to hide under. Don't let him get snagged on my head. Go over okay. me. He's there, though. Yeah. Lift the engines? No, yeah. it's too hard to get around. No, no, up. don't let me go over. Keep letting it go. He's coming at us. Which way is he on he's, it? He's coming, spinning out. He's underneath it. That's good. Come on, Ben. He's going in. Back out of it. Back out of it. Back out of it. Quick. Back up. Back, 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 back. If the shark is in front of you and trying to swim away, you get this kind of push and pull going. When the guys are getting in line, the shark's pointed at us, and then all of a sudden the shark will turn and we're kind of backing away. Okay, keep backing up, keep backing oh, up. Oh, oh, oh. Come up in. Back out of it. It's right there, swimming at us. Keep going, this fish is right here, I see him. It just looks like a smaller fish. It's acting like it. He's already getting his, his butt kicked yeah. by us. Just hold on to him. That's the first float right there, right? Yeah. Somebody might want to race Chris down here, too. The main thing about Jimmy is if you're going out to do something that's never been done before and it involves a giant fish, Jimmy is one of the few guys in the world that we know to call who can basically handle anything with these large, large animals. Which way do you want me? Um, it's hard to tell, Brett. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, help me up. Back it up. Back it up. 